now your selection. Meet the stars. Oh, and she's smiling at you. Hi, how are you? If you're ever, uh, if you're ever in town, I mean, if you're ever in town, you're not like in a bar. I'm sorry, that came off wrong. It sounded like you're some kind of skank. I didn't mean like I wasn't trying to say you're like a filthy little girl. <laughs> Time's up, Cass, and never. Can I join you for a drink? Sure. The film is uh, called Stuck on You, and it's really about uh, brothers. This story is about two brothers who are inseparable emotionally, and so they always go together and, and hang out together. Can you move a little? Can you uh, type on your back? Please work with me. Oh, did I not mention that? Yes, yes they're, uh, they're uh, conjoined twins. Well, I'm gonna have to level with you. Siamese twins ain't the easiest sell I've ever had. We're not Siamese, we're American. We had to do everything together. We had to go to the bathroom together, and there's no choice except to either complain about it or make a joke about it. You're 16 hours a day stuck to the person, so, you know. Matt Damon is abusive? I'm not going another step until you apologize to me. Hey, don't you walk away from me! No! Yeah, you better run. I realized really quickly that I was going to like him, and that was huge. Uh, he's about as good a guy as you'd, you'd want to physically attach yourself to. We, we just kind of worked our way through everything, given the reality of the harness. You show up to work, crawl into this contraption that was known as the harness, some sort of medieval torture, contortionistic fitted piece of equipment that was horrible. We strapped ourselves together with the stunt team. We just learned how to play tennis. We learned all the physical things that we had to do. The first thing anybody asks us when they come up is uh, that, you know, they just can't resist saying, you guys must really get along. I guess it's true. I guess if you're going to be uh, hooked up to somebody for uh, three and a half months on a movie, you, you do have to get along. We actually had a bet, we, you know, on who was going to crack first and who was just going to lose it and rip the harness off one day and just run out of there and not, not come back. And, and we actually made it through. We just really got along well. <laughs> Dare is doing something really great in this movie, which is she's playing the total nightmare diva. She realizes that she has casting approval over the male lead in her show. Wait a minute. Doesn't that contract say I have the right to choose my own co-star? Yeah, so what? I just found my leading man. Man. Yeah. The problem for Cher is that Walt turns out to be a pretty good actor. And, um, and so the show becomes a hit. You son of a... What I meant is losing a beautiful squaw like you would be enough to drive any man to the fire water. Cher was great. It's a tricky role because she's kind of playing herself, but she's playing herself as a raging bitch, uh, which she's not. <laughs> I was really surprised by how how good of directors they are. I mean, they really care about character. They care about the performances. And uh, particularly with this subject matter, they were top of their game. When you meet them, you you know, yeah, they got an irreverent sense of humor, but they're good, good people. Like, for instance, when I first met them, I went out to dinner with them, and I said, well, you want to come back to my apartment? I live right around the corner. We were all sitting, talking, and uh, Pete said, can I use your bathroom? I said, yeah, sure, you have bathrooms right over there. Two minutes later, he comes out, and he's naked except for a towel. He's got shampoo in his hair, and he's soaking wet. And he just walks right in the living room, and he goes, you guys got any conditioner? The whole idea behind it was like, you know, the hell with you. If you don't think this is funny, then don't work with us. But if you think it's funny, then then sign up. And, and so they basically had me at hello. I think they're going to think, oh, God, you know, the guys make a fun of Siamese twins, something like that. They're going to come out thinking, that was a good story. It was interesting. It was, there's a lot of, you know, it's funny. There's a lot of heart in it. Yes! Keetsy's working her way through med school. You got to admire that. I don't think there's been a movie like this. I really don't. I just think it's going to be a really, really fun ride for people. That's not your typical story. It's a difficult story to tell. It has a lot of heart, and uh, it'll be uh, funny. I found it just to be the most really sweet and heartwarming comedy. We think it's funny. I know that we're laughing while we're working. I'm getting out of the business anyway. This is my last picture. I'm going into insurance, so what the hell do I care? Good luck, Bob. Eat. Go get him. Hey, what's a four-letter word for snatch? Grab. Oh, right. Right. Oopsie.